Hello friends, today we are going to talk about the best by use programmer that you should use. You know, concerning the new generation system, there are a required by use programmer that we are supposed to use to get a better result. Watch to the end to see the best programmer and how to use it to make your programming perfect. So let's let's start. The first programmer here is ROT809F. So this programmer is used to program by use and it only has 3 volt power. It will only work on 3 volt by use. In case you want to program 0 0.8 volt, you need to support adapter for it to program properly. This adapter that you have to support on the programmer so that you can program the 8 uh, 1.8 by use which a new generation system normally use. Then another, this is how it is, another one is next is CH341. This by use is also also good in programming but the disadvantage is that it also program only 3 values and not 1.8 volts. You need to add additional adapter if you want to program 1.8 volts values concerning the new generation system that normally use 1.8 values. So you need to attach another adapter of 0.8 adapter these are the bios adapters the bios programming programmer adapters so the next here is um is ezp2023 we have it in different versions the limitation of this one is that a in terms of vote it also do not support 1.8 volts you need to support another external adapter for it to program properly the 0.8 volt by use this is how it looks like when you add another adapter on it when programming a by use of 1.8 volt then uh, it's a good by use programmer that you can use to program a by use it can give you a best result next is the as programmer this is a universal programmer that can be used to program any types of values be 3.3 volts or 1.5 1.8 volts it has the two volts at the same time this values programmer has 1.8 volts for the latest generation laptop then uh, you can see here uh, this is the 3 volt section and uh, the other side is the 1.8 section in case you want to program any types of values you can switch to the direction of the vote this is the programmer that uh, that can give you the same vote of any types of values at the same time then uh, the next is uh, the socket of different values chip we have uh, this test of socket that can be used when programming a bios this socket match with these types of bios chip then uh, you can use that socket for this this is the socket for this type of bios chip in case he wants to program you can use this adapter to connect the BIOS to the programmer then uh, this type of BIOS also the flat BIOS this you can use this board to program it this adapter goes for this types of BIOS this adapter this QFN 8 adapter goes for this type of 
by use. This type of adapter can be used when programming the new generation by use the flat ones. So this is how it is. Then uh, this is how it is on the programmer. You place it like this. These are the different types of adapter of all type for the BIOS. Okay, this is one of the best BIOS programmer ever. So how to use it? Connect the BIOS programmer with a USB cable. When done, then connect it to system. Locate the software drivers. First of all, install the drivers on your system. Then select the drivers. Follow up the installation and install the drivers. Okay. Then then you now launch the application once you are done installing the drivers on your system. Then uh, that is that is the ports, the different routes of the programmer. You locate the one you want to program, insert the adapter. Okay, you connect the adapter. Then uh, you now locate the pin one of the adapter. This is the pin one of the adapter. Okay, that is the pin one of the adapter. You now locate it. The next is to insert the BIOS chip into the programmer. Align it with the dots on the programmer. That is the dot. Make sure you align it to the pin 1 of the adapter and the pin 1 of the BIOS programmer. Okay. The next is to go to your system. And select the chip. Go to your system, click on the green icon there to select the chip. That is the name of the chip, Winborn. You click on it and go down and select the chip. Okay. You click on select IC. Then when you are done, go to read the IC. You have to give it a while for the IC to read completely. Now the reading is going on. Let's give it some time. So it's now reading the chip. Okay, let's give it some time. After reading you can decide to save the chip or you can also keep a backup or you can just go on and program it like that. Okay, the reading is complete. The next thing is to save it if you want to keep the backup of the old file which is necessary. Alright, you give it a name then and save it. Once you are done saving it, locate the new file that you want to program. Go and get the file. After downloading it from or building it, you locate where you save it and select it. Once you are done, then you see the green icon also there. You see the icon that is reading. You click on it, the reading will start. 
programming you see the programming will start that is it program IC you select that icon and click OK now the the BIOS is programming the IC once on press OK